Hey, what's up guys? Uh, we're going to be predicting the Big Ten Conference Tournament uh, in this one. Big Ten Conference play just wrapped up a couple hours ago with Illinois defeating Iowa and Penn State beating Maryland by 16. Um, it should be a really good Big Ten Tournament. The, the league isn't as deep this year as it has been in years prior, uh, but it's still a really competitive league and uh, I think it still should be a really good tournament. So with that being said, let's jump into it. So we got uh, 12 seed Maryland taking on 13 seed Rutgers to get us going here. Um, this should be a low scoring slugfest. That's what we saw earlier in the year um, when Maryland won 56-53 uh, in that one. So I think we're gonna see something really similar here. I, I like Rutgers defense. Um, they're a really good defensive team and, and Maryland isn't as good uh, as elite on one side of the ball, but they're a little more balanced than Rutgers. Rutgers can be uh, pretty atrocious offensively at times. So in a game where I think scoring is going to be at a premium, I'm going to go with the guy who can get a bucket in, in crunch time, and that's Jameer Young, um, Maryland's point guard. He's one of the best scoring guards in the country. I think in a game like this where scoring is going gonna, is gonna to be tough to come by, you know, you want a guy who can get his own basket, and Rutgers doesn't really have uh, a guy, a go-to guy like that, like Maryland has. So he's the edge, I think, for Maryland. I'm going Maryland uh, to get by Rutgers, but I think it's going to be a close one. Now we got Penn State versus Michigan. Uh, I love Ace Baldwin for Penn State. Uh, I love him at VCU, and uh, you know, Penn State's having a having a pretty solid year, especially lately. They're really coming, they're really coming along now. Um, and we know how bad Michigan's been. They've been abysmal this year. It's a terrible Michigan team. Three and seventeen in conference. Um, I, you know, I can't. Every time I watch Michigan play, it's it's really embarrassing, and it's it's crazy because most years in my lifetime, you know, Michigan's a solid, a solid degree, just solid to great team. So it's weird to see Michigan so bad, and you know, I just can't pick them to play. They just they just don't have much intensity to them, and so I'm going Penn State uh, to win that one. Now we got Minnesota versus Michigan State. They've played some good games this year. They've had some close battles. Um, Dawson Garcia uh, is, is the X factor here. I think if he goes off for a big game here, uh, I think Minnesota can win. But um, I think Tom Izzo is going to drop a game plan. They're going to neutralize him. And, uh, and if he doesn't go off, I don't see Minnesota winning this one. I like, I like Michigan State to get this one. Um, but I do think it's going to be a close one. They've, they've played close games early in this year, and I think it's going to be another one like that. Now we got Maryland and Wisconsin. Um, you know, I have Maryland getting by Rutgers here, but Maryland's a team that I'm, I'm definitely, you know, I don't really think they're going to make a run here in this tournament. Uh, I, I don't really see them getting by too, winning too many games here. Even though Wisconsin's kind of falling off down the stretch, this is still a good Wisconsin team. I think you know, I think we might see Wisconsin fi find themselves in this tournament again. Um, they're going to need to. They need to build up some momentum again going to the tournament. I think that's going to be a, um, a point, you know, a point that Greg Gard makes. You know, he's going to try to get the boys ready, try to get some momentum going. Um, but I think Wisconsin is going to beat Maryland in that one. Now we got Ohio State, Iowa. This game has extreme uh, tournament Im implications. Ohio State has came back from the dead. They were looking like they were not going to make the tournament, not even close to it, but they've been on absolute tear recently. Iowa's been playing good basketball recently. Both teams are right there on the bubble. I think both teams are on the outside looking in, but this game probably gets one of them maybe maybe over, you know, over on the right side of the bubble. Maybe these teams need two wins in the Big Ten tournament. Who knows, but I'm almost certain the team that loses this one is not getting in. So this game is going to be, it should be electric because both teams are going to be you know, they're going to be fighting for their tournament lives here. So I'm excited for this one. This is going to be a really interesting 7-10 matchup. Um, there's a lot to like here, but Ohio State's uh, as hot as any team in college basketball in this past, you know, these past two, three weeks. So I'm riding with the hot hand here. I'm riding with Ohio State and with Roddy Gale and Bruce Thornton. Those guys have been stepping up huge lately. Um, and I'm going Ohio State to beat Iowa. And, and that would end really Iowa's big uh, tournament champ tournament chances so that's what I'm excited for though now we got Penn State versus Indiana and you know I like the upset pick here I think Penn State can can beat Indiana here Penn, the way Penn State's been playing down the stretch here they're led by uh, veteran guards you got a veteran big man in Wahab um, I don't know I just like what I'm seeing out of Penn State lately and Indiana is is not 
plan as well recently. They did get a big win today against Michigan State, so I don't want to discredit that big win, but um, that was a good win for them. But still, I like Penn State in this one. I like the upset, so I'm 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 taking the Nittany Lions here. Now, so we got at the top here. We got Michigan State versus Purdue in the quarterfinals. They played a close game just about a week ago. Purdue pulled that one out by six. Um, and I also think they're going to win this one again. Michigan State is uh, a little weak on in the front court. Uh, the front court is their biggest weakness. And as we all know, Zach Eady is an absolute uh, walking 20 and 10, 25 and 10 type of guy. So um, I, I just like Purdue here. I don't, I think Michigan State gives them, you know, gives them a close game, but, but I don't see Michigan State pulling off that upset upset there. Now we got Wisconsin versus Northwestern. Um, this one's kind of a pick em. You know, we got that four, you know, four seed versus five seed. Uh, Wisconsin won in their matchup earlier in the season. And I am a huge fan of Boo Booey. He's one of my favorite guards in the country. And uh, I, I, veteran guards is one of the more important factors in conference tournament games and obviously in the big dance. But I, I think I like Wisconsin in this one, though. I think Wisconsin is going to kind of right this ship here. They're going to, uh, I think they're going to kind of build up some momentum in the tournament here. And I like Wisconsin to beat Northwestern. So now we got Ohio State and Illinois. I think the hot streak ends here for uh, Ohio State. And now Ohio State's going to be sweating it out uh, come tournament time. Because did they do enough late in the season? I'm not sure. Um, but I'm taking I'm taking Illinois here. Illinois has beat them earlier in the year. Um, this is a terrific Illinois team. And so I'm taking... I'm taking Illinois and that one. Now we got Penn State versus Nebraska. Uh, I almost want to roll the dice and say, let's have Penn State make a little run here. I think they're going to come up just close. Uh, they're going to come up close, but I don't think they're going to have enough to win that one. They're going to have some, that's third game already here. I like Nebraska in that one, um, led by Mast and, and Tommy Naga. Obviously, Tommy Naga is one of my favorite players in the country as well. I'm going Nebraska in that one. So now we got the one versus five and the two versus three. So we got uh, not too many uh, low seeds making making a, a big run here, but the Big Ten is kind of top heavy this year. It's not it's not super deep like we talked about. It's more top heavy this year than some years. Now we got Purdue versus Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin can give Purdue a lot of fits here because Purdue play, or Wisconsin plays that slow paced game. They limit possessions. So if Wisconsin can get a little bit of a, a lead going into the second half, I think they might be able to uh, pull it off here. But with that being said, I I can't go against what Purdue's done this year. This is a Purdue team that at every big game, they just they find a way, they step up. And I, I think they're going to continue to do so in the Big Ten tournament. They've had a lot of success in the Big Ten tournament recently, and I think they're going to continue that. And I think they're making it to the championship game. Now, on the bottom side of the bracket, we got Illinois versus Nebraska. As cool as it would be to see Nebraska get to the Big Ten Championship game, I don't see it happening. I think Purdue and Illinois are the clear-cut best teams in the Big Ten, and I think we're going to see that in the conference tournament here. I think it's, uh, it, there's a, it's a pretty serious tier. I mean, I, Purdue's definitely above Illinois, but then you got Illinois here, and then I think you have a, a decent bit of a drop-off down to Nebraska. And I think we're going to kind of see that come tournament time. Um, I think Illinois is going to beat Nebraska here. But, uh, you know, you never know. Maybe maybe they get hot from the outside. Like when we saw Nebraska beat Purdue uh, earlier in the year, they just were flame. Everyone was just had a flamethrower that game. They were all just – they just couldn't miss. So if we see something like that, obviously, I think Nebraska can beat Illinois. But I think seven out of ten times, uh, Illinois wins this one. And so I'm going Illinois. Illinois versus Purdue in the championship game here, which I think would be a super, it'd be a super fun game. We've seen two close games between them already this year. Um, so this would be the third time. And on this third time, I think Illinois figures out a way to beat Purdue. I think they could have done it in the last game. They came up just close, just, you know, they're, they're just short in that one. I think they're going to find a way to do it. Um, they've done a pretty good job limiting Zach Eady, at least in the first game. He did kind of go off in the last game, but Illinois, Illinois is right there with Purdue. I think they, they get the best of them on this third time. And I got Illinois as Big Ten champs. So uh, let me know how you guys uh, are thinking about how the Big Ten is going to go. I think it's going to be 
uh, a good conference tournament. It's a bit top heavy here, so I, I don't see as many upsets in this one. Uh, but yeah, like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.